Hello and welcome to this tutorial today. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to create a simple bullet in Maya. Uh, this is basically what it's going to look like. Just a simple bullet. There's no texturing, no coloring right now. Just a simple bullet shape using polygon cylinders. Alrighty. First of all, let's go head up over to File, New Scene. Alright, so you got your new scene. Okay, first we're going to go to Create, Polygon Primitives, Cylinder. So we're just going to create maybe just this nice cylinder, right about its size. Just make it look sort of bullet shaped almost, just within the height and width. Um, we're, and if you go up here and under Show, Rendered, if you hit this little blue box, it'll show the color instead of just wireframe. All right, now we have this. Um, real quick, we're gonna go and just edit, copy. We're gonna copy this and paste it, and then we're just gonna take this and move this out of the way for now. Just leave that over there. We'll come back to that later in this tutorial. All right, now that we've got this, we want to take these top, these top caps, and make them more round. So what we're going to do is if we come over here, and if you don't see this, just uh, hit this button right here. This comes up, and if we go over to Poly Cylinder 1, over here it'll show up. Uh, you'll see Poly Cylinder History. There's Radius, Height, it changes all that stuff. Um, subdivision Axes, Subdivision Heights, all that cool jazz. Um, now, uh, we're going to go over here, and we want to check Round Cat kind of makes these caps actually pointy, not really round. But if you come over here to subdivision caps, you can round them to make them as round or not round as you want. And I think 15 looks about good. Now it just kind of looks like a pill or like a little capsule looking thing. That's not what we want. So, uh, first we're gonna take this, and if you hold down, if you if you right click and hold it down, it'll come up with all these properties. Um, you can go like add new materials, stuff like that, but that's not what we want. We want to select ed, face right now. Face allows us to select any individual face we would like. But first, what we want to do here is we're gonna delete this bottom cap. So if we zoom in here, move down, um, we can start deleting some of these. And you just got to be careful when you select them like that because it will sometimes select the other side and delete like a whole half of your cylinder, which is not good. Um, not a good thing at all. Alrighty, now that we've done that, we want to come over here to the top side. Zoom in here. And now we kind of want to select the top, the top half, the top cylinder here. If we come over here to the left, scale tool, select that. Um, it's a little hard to see right now, um, but when you select, when you hit the scale tool, you'll see there's a red, a red box, a blue box, and a green box. And each of these boxes stand for um, different uh, values. Um, but first, or what we really want to do is just grab this green box on the bottom, and when you move it, it'll scale it around. We want to bring it down. Bring it down kind of and make it kind of a round shape like that and that looks very nice after that uh, just hold down right click again and hit object mode so that you've got it in one object and you can render this out if you want to see it uh, go up to this render current frame button and there you go you got a nice bullet looking thing. Alright, now 
this is where we bring in this other cylinder. All right, we're gonna select this. Now, we pretty much have a bullet here, except there's no bottom piece. And how we're gonna fix that right now is we're gonna take this, and if we go up here, over into these attributes again, if you can't find them, just hit this button. We'll come down to this arrow, and right here, PC Cylinder 1. That, that opens up our transform attributes. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take rotate and we're going to take this first box and just type in 90. That way it rotates sideways. And we are actually going to do that with this one as well. Transform attributes, rotate 90. Now we're going to take this cylinder, line it up with this so that it, we can use this back piece as this and also be able to extend this out as far as we need. So we're going to take this, if you come up here it's kind of like three cones with an arrow, move tool. Click the move tool and once again it has these the green, red, blue, their arrows this time. Um, you can move it on the different axes. Um, we're going to move it to fit this perfectly. Um, now it's already it's already on the right height, <clears throat> on the right height here. So we just got to get it to line up left and right. Uh, I think that's about good. And the bullet seems a little long. If you want to, you can either take the move tool, slide it or not, but it might create it might create like a, a little rounded edge right there, which we do not want right now. Um, what you could do um, is move it back to where you want, and then if you take the scale tool, you can grab the side and scale it to whatever you would like. Move it around. And voila! There you have it. <clears throat> A simple bullet in Maya. You render that out and there you go. Got a nice looking bullet right there. Thank you for watching this tutorial today. Uh, hopefully I'll be coming out with some more tutorials. I think I'm going to come out with the stormy water tutorial later. Um, and yeah, thanks guys. Rate and subscribe.